Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and yes, we have taken back Domino. Domino City is now ours. All of our friends are controlling all of the territories, and now we are going to try and buy some cards from good old Grandpa, in hopes that we'll find something good and useful. You know, I'm a little curious about Orgoth, because this, be, this should be a card that our buddy uh, Tristan, not Tristan, sorry, uh, Duke Devlin has, but it doesn't have its ability in this game, which makes sense. Um, let's see, we already have Dark Necrofear. Oh, shit! Is that my Bickery Box? A bird-like demon that hides inside a jack-in-the-box case? It springs out without warning? Oh, man. No effect. That breaks my heart, but I'm not going to pretend like it's not understandable that it has no uh, effect. Just breaking my heart, and that's okay. I've been heartbroken before. So, now that that is uh, dealt with, let's go take a look around and see what else we can find. Is there any cards here I can actually run, you know, I can afford, that uh, make our deck better? Yes. More Cyber Soldiers. Yeah, they do... They do Metamorph into Machine Kings, which is busted. More m sh Mammoth Graveyards. Those are probably worthwhile. But no, not really what I'm feeling. Uh, troop dragons, they have a job, but I don't know if I need them. It's nice to have a variety of types, but no. Alright, and maybe not monsters. Let's see if there's any spell or traps that are now here that we can use. Uh, so looks like the same old, same old. Damn. We took all of Domino back and we still don't have any new traps. Alright, so let's go to our deck and let's see if we can't afford something pretty expensive. So, looking at our attack monsters, um, look, Gradius, you have been fun, and I like having dream monsters, but you go. If I ever need dream monsters again, I'll put you back in. Now we're going to go to the trunk, and we're going to go by cost. What is a very expensive but good card we can run? Uh, not her, not you. Brain Control! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a game changer right there, especially since you don't have to pay life points. Yep, that, that, that is a yes. That is a yes. And we still have a lot of points left because we fought a lot of boss battles in the last episode. So let's get rid of another mid speller trap and just, uh, you know, work our way up. Infinite Dismissal still helps with tributes, but I, I think another multiplier would just help with tributes as well. So let's see. Oh, I don't know if I can afford another multiplier. We can also just go for... Now let's go back to cost. I think cost was a good idea. So let's see. What can we afford? What's the point that we but we can't come back from? We can't afford Gradius, so we can go... Could we afford Arlen Way? We could afford her, which is something. This guy gets Megamorph, which is something, I guess. I don't know what Megamorph even buffs, but it at least would search something. I could get another Doron. I guess that might be worth a purchase from Grandpa's shop. Um, another Shadow Fighter would be better, though. Let's go ahead and let's get her in the party just for now. We're not going to use her. I just want to see... Hey, Gramps, do you sell Shadow Fighters? Those guys actually work well in our deck. Based on attack points, it has 800. And if not, I can always buy another Doron since they're cost-effective and do the same job. They're just not as good as metal as the other one because the other one metal morphs. Uh, no, it doesn't look like you sell him. That is a shame, Gramps. You don't understand. That other guy is way more useful than what your shop has to offer at this moment in time. And Doron, it might just barely be worth the price if Doron is for sale. He is for sale. All right, we'll buy a Doron and we will uh, we will go ahead and just run that instead. Based on attack points, we go back to our girl who costs 900, and then we will. Uh, yeah, just switch it out for a Doron, no problems. Yep, you go over here, and you go in there. And I can afford it, so now we have two multipliers. So, let's go out on our adventure, everybody. It's time for us to, uh, go to the Egypt Exhibition. Wish me luck. Hey, you will proceed no further. Okay. You will proceed no further. What the? They told me to come here. I was told to come here. What the heck just happened? Maybe there's another way in. Maybe I go to Domino Station? 
Maybe. Oh, look, they're not here anymore. So, yeah. Okay. Hello there. I was going to talk to that. Oh, there's rare hunters here. Okay. No, I want to talk to that guy. Why am I... I'm not able to for some reason here. Please don't joke at a time like this. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, everything cool? What is happening? The Neo Ghouls have commandeered the train. Hey, get off the train. I won't let you reach. Oh, we're going to fight Keith? We're fighting Keith today? I don't think so. That's not a great idea. Fighting Keith sounds dangerous, so let's see how I do. Interesting, a field that buffs a lot of my monsters. I don't think they meant to give me this field. I shouldn't have played Metamorph unless I was actually going to use it. I don't want to use it because I don't know if they'll just go for type advantage. Or just uh, another spell card to beat me up. Okay, they have a Fiend monster, which means we could use it. But they have a trap card, so it's not a, a good idea. So let's go for a tribute instead. Go for you because you get me a dungeon worm. <clears throat> and then we use the dungeon worm. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, they have no life points. What the hell? They have like zero life points. And another bear trap. Alright. Um, why don't you attack you? And you just end the fight. Alright. Little strange, but I appreciate the free capacity increase and the money. Temple of Skulls is not ne necessary. Master Keith, please forgive me. Oh, the train, it's moving. The Neo Goals must have taken over the controls. Okay, well, that's not good. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm here for Keith. Um, Where's my quantity? Yep, there we go. I'm here for Keith. Get out of the way. Revolution! That's a lot of burn. These guys are chipping me to death using their spells and traps. That's no fun. Odds are I can't beat the face down monster unless I metal morph. So I'm going to have to take a risk, metal morph. Okay, attack. I was right. Oh my god. That was my strongest metal morph monster and it just barely beat him. Alright, let's see if I have anything else. Not really, but we can at least multiply. Yeah, I'm just going to assume they have great defense monsters. We're just barely beating them. If it wasn't for Metal Dragon's high attack points, we'd be dead. I don't know what the traps are, but we're just going to have to hope that they're nothing crazy. Okay, we baited the monster, and it's more zombie stuff. Fighting a lot of zombie stuff today, are we? Okay. Metal Morph. That never works. I always pray that it will. I know there's no Super Metal Dragon, but I'd like to see one. Alright, we have defeated yet another one of the goals, but they got a huge amount of burn off on us, so that's great for them. Takihi, I do not want that. This can't be! Disappear. Oh, uh, are you him? No, you're, there's one more, isn't there? This is where the rich people were. I'm much tougher than the other guys. Does that mean you have more than 2,000 HP? And are just gonna run burn cards to make me weak for the last fight? Which is some bullcrap, by the way. You guys are cheating. And I'm not going first. Bad start. And 1,000 more burn. That's why I wanted to go first. Minimusha Warrior is a problem. Um, let's not let them tribute. We're going to beckon. We don't have any Metal Morphs to take advantage of, which really sucks. Oh, he doesn't have that many life points, but he already burned us, so what's the point? If we had gone first, I could have saved a lot of life points. Invisible Wire gets rid of the, the Ghost, and then Cyber Soldier ends the fight. I tribute for Cyber Soldier. Ugh. All right, victory is ours. Deck capacity increased by six. Three-legged zombie. Thank you very much. How dare you? Yugi, what are you doing back there with the conductor? We made it to the Egypt ex exhibition. All right, good. What do I get off? Those three guys were quite annoying. All right. I don't want to have to do this again, so let's, let's do it. You're not taking another step. Yeah, I bet you I will. Bet you don't even stop me. Shit, they're going first. Red potion, at least it wasn't a burn card. Okay, they have a trap, which is something to worry about, but let's uh, pot of greed and make our do. Trap card or spell card. Trap is good. Mammoth Graveyard loves the field, but at the same time, I have to worry about the opponent's trap card. You know what? I believe in Mammoth Graveyard. I was right to do so. Oh my god. Mammoth Graveyard, best card ever made. Yep. Now, let's see what else I can get. I could set up, or I could just go in. Let's set up. Plus, it'll bait the opponent. There we go. I attack. 
2,800 life points remain. Not too much. The invisible wire does it. And now, I'm gonna Metal Morph. I'm getting myself a Gadget Soldier. Mammoth Graveyard goes in. Gadget Soldier ends the fight. Yeah! These upgrades are awesome. You got yourself only six because these guys are worth nothing. But we got a Wood Remains, which I guess is a card. Oh, uh, okay. I was going to say, am I going to have to fight all of them? Holy crap. Oh, look at that. We're almost there. We're almost there. If I beat these guys, can I heal? Joey! Joey, calm down! Joey! <laughs> you will proceed no further. All right. Hope for, hope for the best. Our life points have gotten pretty low. Oh, music's kicking up. Red Potion. Okay, that's not as bad. Red Potion. Okay, they're just trying to heal the fact that they have 2,000 life points. That thing has 1,900 attack. That's no joke. That monster's going to be a problem. We have to beckon. Even if I were able to get my Cyber Soldier, I doubt that I'd be able to beat these guys. But I have to go for it because if I draw Metal Morph, I can win the fight. Bear Trap, you probably can't handle these guys on this field. Yep. By 60. I need a better Tribute. That also helps. Okay, he might tribute as well, but I'm going to tribute set. Something they don't typically expect. A more healing, god damn it. They feel 2,600 life points. Okay, I got rid of the assassin. I I got rid of the ancient elf. Okay. We might be able to fight back. Brain controls for later, not for now. Okay, attack. Let's just get their life points back down. These guys had a little more HP than the others. I was going to play defensive still, but let's just go in, because if they get in our snake hair, it doesn't matter. Jigabyte barely ties with me. That sucks. That doesn't. I play brain control on their Jigabyte. I tribute their Jigabyte. I summon my soul. My soul nerfs them. We're super strong. Oh my god. This is the dream right now. This is the dream. I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling it. Here we go, Metal Morph. It's time to transform into the Machine King. A card that costs so much goddamn money. And Machine King goes for 2,700 damage. Dual victory, increased to 12. Wow, that guy was worth more. Curse of Darkness, what? A spell that weakens all monsters on the foe's field by two levels. Oh yeah, that is worth running. Neo goals are forever. Okay, does that mean I I can do it? I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon! White Lightning! There may be a ton of goals, but what's with these Neo Goal Scrubs? There's no end to them. Why are there so many of them? I actually have to agree with Kaiba on this one. Alright, deck. Let's see. who caught. Let's go by cost. I need someone that costs 80. All right, what is uh, something that costs like 80? Probably anything around here. Do you cost like 80? 42, Jesus Christ, that costs 42. That's not even close. Um, well, if I want that spell card, let's drop, I mean, no, Amazon's archery is really good. Let's drop, wow, I really don't have much to drop. Not even you, huh? I, I really want to run that card, but it's so expensive, and everything else I'm running is pretty important for the deck. I don't like this. I really don't like this. You know what? For now, we're not going to change our deck. Everything okay, Kaiba? I haven't healed Kaiba, so don't don't make me fight too much. I'm only here because I need to re resurrect Oblos the Tormentor. Okay, cool. Is Kaiba actually just going to take all these guys with the same amount of life points? Because that's crazy. You're you're absolutely insane. You know that, Kaiba. All right. Well, let's just go in. Worst, it's, yep, there he is. A Shizu could take Keith, maybe. Probably. She did in our series, right? Keith got third. She got second. What took you so long? You kept us waiting. And that gave me time to talk to this woman. Then you should understand what I'm asking. We need your help to defeat the Dark Being. Idiot, all I care about is defeating Pegasus. I don't give half a brain about the Dark Being or anyone else. Saving the world is not my problem. Hurry up and resurrect my Winged Dragon of Raw. Come on, I'm done talking. Hand over the Millennium Items. No. 
If you don't, well, you don't want to know what I'll do to this woman. A Shizu, pull out a gun. Although he probably has a gun. Yes, you may have the items. All of the Millennium items are gathered here. You found six. The Millennium Necklace, the Millennium Key, the Millennium Ring, the Millennium Eye, the Millennium Rod, and the Millennium Scales. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. You collected the Millennium items just for me. Uh, no way. You're so clueless. Go ahead and deny it. You can't change the facts. While you were looking for them, I found the last Millennium item. Yep, the Millennium Puzzle belongs to me. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, the ritual! The ritual of kings! This is a problem. This is a problem. Hey, sphere mode, what are you doing here? You resurrected Raw for that? Okay, well, I am not healed, so this could go very poorly on our first attempt. But that doesn't mean we won't try. We got to go first. Oh, that is the biggest advantage I've ever had. I feel so blessed right now. Okay, because he might have Heavy Storm, I'm not willing to use my Trap Guy. Even though I'd love to get better traps down. Did he... No. We're playing Top Deck?! When you- Oh, Pock Reed, Pock Reed, help me. We're playing top deck, but I already lost Invisible Wire. Tomosaurus, go! He has 10,000 life points, and we're playing the top deck game. Oh, Cypher Soldier. Okay, well. Wind Monster? My life points are enough to take one hit. Let's see what he top decks. He didn't top deck anything, apparently. Oh, no, he did, but it's not something I can hit. Alright, I played Dark Hole. I didn't want to use it now. I was going to use it on two monsters. I activate my effect to give myself two monsters. I can't believe he started the duel by saying we're playing a top deck game. And somehow he's not getting the top decks he wants. Okay, we lost one Shadow Fighter. Second Shadow Fighter, go. Tomazaurus, go. Soon we won't have enough life points to be attacking like this, but Keith is known to brick, so... Oh my god, there's a chance. <gasps> there's a bigger chance. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. I know we're not healed, but we can do this. Gigabyte! Let's go! Please give me a metal morph. Protect. No! No! He top decks swords, and you can't even destroy swords. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, this sucks. I'm keeping a monster in hand for emergency because Heavy Storm exists. Harpy's Feather Duster. Damn it. Damn it. I'm I need metal morph, even if it's just to be safe. need to protect my life points. We're already low. Tribute, Cyber Tech. What, what type are you? Wind? Earth beats wind. I can beat it. I can beat it. It can be beat. Where are my life points at? 1890. 300, I'd lose. I can't get the Metal Morph. I can't afford to get Metal Morph. And I can't attack him to get rid of his monster. And he knows it's a Tomozaurus, so I'm going to lose Tomozaurus. Another Guardian, which means if they get... Yep, they got rid of Tomasaurus. There's nothing I could do about it. There was no way I could get it. Okay. I can nerf them only to die. There's nothing. I might not survive another turn because of swords. I can nerf them to at least get rid of a monster on the field to keep myself in the game. Oh, man, it was such a good duel until swords! Once he got swords, we actually lost. We, we could have won. Oh, wow, Blast Sphere. It makes sense. Ah, oh, I can't do anything. God damn it, we had game. The second sword... Oh, well, that's busted, too. The second sword showed up, we lost. It's swords is way too powerful of a card. And I'd be okay with it if I could have a swords, but we just can't. We can't get swords ourselves. So let's go. Hopefully we don't have to do all that nonsense again. We already beat everybody um, to get to the Egypt ex exhibition or whatever. Thank God. Uh, Kaiba, I'm just going to ignore you. Thank you very much. This cutscene is going to be quite annoying. I know I came in here without full health, but even with it full health, I would have died in that fight anyway. The fact that he started with freaking Final Destiny and was just like, yep, we're playing top decks. And then I was like, wait, I'm winning the top decks. And then he's like, swords. And I'm just like, ugh. Swords means I couldn't destroy his monsters. That means I couldn't tribute. That means I had no chance. Or that he could tribute. And Cybertech Alligator is absolutely busted. 
Oh, dear God, I wish there was a skip button for this. Or just a rematch button after you lose. They let you do that in Tag Force. Yep, Yugi's gonna want to go forward. There we go. Cool scene. Yep, cool scene. Re uh, reviving the Winged Dragon of Raw. Bandit Keith, this is impressive. So, Bandit Keith's deck has the best cards in the game. We can only hope to match this man. We cannot with our current deck. We have no back row removal. We have nothing to stop him. We can't stop spell cards from happening. But we can fight back in our own way. And we have to try. So, let's go over here. Let's try you. And let's just see what we got. This is a great opening hand. This is incredible. Unless he gets Final Destiny. So let's do this. Let's go with this. Our plan is to get Cyber Soldier eventually. Inexperienced Spy, so we can't have flip effects, which means that my Magical Scientist is useless. And he is the weak to Shadow, apparently. Um, we will attack to see the trap. Yep, might as well get that out of the way. Um, we will then go with Doron instead. I forgot, I can't even use Doron either. So all my monster effects are worthless now. He got Machine King and is unable to fight us! Ha! Ha! Oh my god. Alright, well I gotta take advantage of this by getting all the monsters on the field. Alright, I can't believe it. He got his legendary Machine King card, which is busted in this game. It costs like 300 bucks or DP. We got rid of Alpha the Magnet Warrior. We are just going to go all water monsters, going in there, punching him in the goddamn face. As much damage as we could possibly do before he gets a Final Destiny or a Swords of Revealing Light. Just do as much damage as possible. Please just go aggressive. No spells. Damn it. Damn it. Gargoyle powered? It was Pot of Greed. No! There is a trap. If it's TT, it's the worst thing that could have happened to me. I don't know if this works. I think it just says it destroys all monsters, but we'll see. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Highest attack I can do, I just wasted it, technically. Might as well tribute anyway. Still stronger than summoning a 300-point mon- I should've- well, I, I sh oh, No, I can't- Remember, I can't use Metal Morph, so that wasn't worth it. I can't win this turn, but we're close enough. Yeah, because this guy, he's useless. Remember, they turned off his effect. So I couldn't go for the Metal Morph play. Cyber Falcon, what type are you? You're weak to forest. Or him. What a top deck. I already had enough strength, but it just feels good to get this. We defeated Bandit Key. When we had full life points, we did it. And when he doesn't start with Final Destiny. $10,000 for beating Key. The Machine King is way too expensive. No way in hell. Slifer, attack. Do we still have Slifer? I thought it got turned to stone. Oh, you could just use Slifer again. Okay. How could this happen? The Egyptian God Cards refused to let me use its power. I'm done playing fair. I'm the one with the hostage. Hand over your Egyptian God Card. Uh, yeah, you can't cheat after losing a duel. That's not how this works. What? What's happening? <gasps> Yugi! It's been a long time, partner. My other self. I, I thought I'd never see you again. Never forget that no matter what, we're always together. Right. Okay, partner, let's get back to the get back that Egyptian god card. Oh shit. You'll pay for how you treated my partner, Bandit Key. What are you talking about? Just fork over your Egyptian god card. There's no other option. Cooper, it's clear you are a true duelist. The Egyptian god cards choose who controls them, and you haven't earned the privilege. What's this? It's Ra's judgment. Actually, it's more than that. Feel the wrath for angering the Egyptian gods. Oh, shit. Ra is released. The thunder will strike. And he's a dead man. Yep. I know you couldn't tell, but his face is plastered onto the floor. It's melting as we speak. That was real lightning. Yeah, we worked hard to get this far. Thanks, dudes. Appreciate it. After seeing how busted his deck was, I'm honestly impressed that we won that. 
All right, we got the final. Oh, we revived Raw, at least in spherical form. Way to go, Cooper. Sphere mode. And that's an earthquake. What? Well, let's get out of here. I sense something. What? I hear. What is this? Zombies? I hear zombie noises. I feel the dark being summoning a vile spirit. No, the spirits are flooding into the hearts of the defeated duelists. Reshef's will is taking control of their souls. I swear, people are always like, Cooper, you use a lot of mind control in your Master Error series. No, I just copy Yu-Gi-Oh. They use a lot of mind control in everything they do. What, what's happening? Reshef the dark being has him, him under control. Dueling Bandit Keith now is too dangerous. You, give it to me. I'm, I'm not willing to do that, sir. Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing, Bandit Keith? <laughs> oh, no. Well, Yugi, you're a smart guy. You can uh, you you can rebuild it. No! The back! The back flips! These puzzle pieces make a fine souvenir. If you want them back, come to Master Chavalski's castle. <laughs> Upstairs back flips. That's so impressive to me. I think we should just let them have them. Snap out of it. Come on. We got to go save your buddy. Or should I say your very good roommate? Hello there. I'm sorry about this. Let's exit. Yep, let's go. Bandit Keith, you okay? Yeah, that's about what I expected. Yo, Kaiba, we got some pro... Oh, well, hold up. Big brother, most of the Neo Ghouls have left the town of Domino. Good. I protected Kaiba Corp just like you told me, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Good work. Yeah, what's going on with the Egyptian gods? Somehow it's back to normal. I don't know what they did, but... Seto! Again? How dare you? What's the meaning of this? Seto Kaiba, I have a message from Master Javalski. Come to my castle if you want to save your dear brother. You have no choice but to come to my castle, you worm. Younger brother, you have fulfilled your mission. Master Jowalski will promote you to a higher position. Elder brother, you also have done your job with the most excellence. You punks, how dare you mock me. Oh, no. Oh, they're fast. They just took your brother. Every storyline. Hey, at least I haven't copied that one yet. <laughs> oh... Lend us your god card. Don't make me laugh, Cooper. Reshift the dark being the end of the world. You've been reading too many fantasy novels. You guys do what you want, but I'll get Moku back on my own. Alright, he does have money. He probably could do it. Yeah, we'll go to Pegasus's castle. Oh, you. I remember you guys. Or maybe it was just one of you. You have proven yourselves to the Millennium Items. Trace the flow of time and accept your destiny. One na man knows where you must go. You must seek out Paradox. I didn't think he'd come out till the movie, but okay. Paradox awaits you in China. He will show you the way. Thank you. The Millennium Guard comes from the order that protects the Millennium Items. I sense that he is telling the truth. Cooper, you must go to China as soon as possible. Oh, I'll be going to China very, very soon. This story is ramping up to 11 right now. We've lost Mokuba. We've lost uh, the Millennium Puzzle Piece. Um, but you know what we did get? We won. Off to China. We got to win in a duel. And that means more than anything else. However, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, I ask you to please remember to like and subscribe. But that is truly the end of the Neo Goal arc. We have defeated the leader, Bandit Keith, and now our time has come to take on Master Chavalski. Bye bye.